Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Graduation is that special day that marks the end of your academic journey here with us and the beginning of a new challenging one. I, Dr. Mitali Srivastav, Assistant Professor in the School of Law, am your MC this afternoon. On behalf of Christ deemed to be University, Delhi NCR campus, I welcome each one of you to the convocation ceremony of the undergraduate batch of 2020-2023, the postgraduate batch of 2021-2023, and the LLM batch of 2022-2023. Kindly rise as our dignitaries are here. Leading the procession is the controller of examination, Christ deemed to be university, Dr. Johnny Joseph, holding the national flag, followed by the coordinator of examinations, Christ deemed to be university, Delhi NCR campus, Dr. Sarish Sebastian, holding the university flag, followed by the campus administrator, Christ deemed to be university, Delhi NCR campus, Reverend Father Sonny Joseph, heads of the schools, academic coordinators, the director and dean of Christ deemed to be university, Delhi NCR campus, Reverend Dr. Father Josie P. George, the pro vice chancellor of Christ deemed to be university, Reverend Dr. Father Viju P. Devasi, our distinguished chief guest, Sri Madhusudanan Narayana, Superintendent Vigilance at Lieutenant Governor's Secretariat, and the Vice Chancellor of Christ Deemed to be University, Reverend Dr. Father Joe C.C.
Lord our God, we thank you for you have loved us into life. In you, we live, move, and have our being. You are the beginning and the end of everything that we are and we do. Lord, we present before you these dear children of yours whom you have entrusted to our care a few years ago. Together with us, they have explored the realms of truth about themselves and the world. As they prepare to graduate into the wider horizon of life, Lord, we place them back into your hands. They are yours, Lord. Keep them close to your heart. Infuse their hearts and minds with true wisdom, genuine love, and a burning desire to serve you and their fellow human beings with intellectual, personal, interpersonal, and societal skills they have imbued over these years here at this university. Enable them to contribute their might to the virtues of excellence and service to make the world a better place for humanity and for all creation. In your hands, Lord, we commend them along with their hopes and aspirations for the future and their very lives. Amen. I request the audience to kindly be seated. The Chancellor of the University, Father Vergis Vidyatil, has informed of his inability to attend the convocation and has authorized the Vice-Chancellor, Dr. Father Joe C. C. to preside over this convocation ceremony and award the degrees. May I invite Dr. Sishanvita Das, Associate Professor from the School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy to welcome the gathering. A hearty good afternoon to the August gathering. It's my honor and privilege to deliver the welcome address to this momentous occasion of the Convocation of Christ Dimtubi University, Delhi and Sia campus. Christ Dimtubi University is fortunate to be nurtured and guided by our Honorable Chancellor, Father Verges Vidyatul. We extend a warm welcome to Father Verges Vidyatul in absence Shia. It is with great pleasure that we welcome our esteemed Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Jose C.C. Father, we extend a warm welcome to you. We are delighted to have our esteemed Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Viju P. Devasi, among us. <laughs> Father, we extend a warm welcome to you. It is our pleasure 
to welcome our registrar, Dr. Anil Joseph Pinto. We extend a hearty welcome to Dr. Anil Joseph Pinto in absentia. We are pleased to welcome our controller of examination, Dr. Johnny Joseph. We extend a hearty welcome to you, sir. We are honored to welcome our campus director, Dr. Father Jos P. George. We extend a warm and hearty welcome to you, Father. We are delighted to have amidst us Sri Madhusudan Narayanan as the chief guest on this occasion. Sri Madhusudan Narayanan, Superintendent Vigilance, Lieutenant Governor's Secretariat, is a science graduate from Bangalore University. He completed his engineering from Electronic Training Institute, Bangalore, out of his 20 years of experience in the Indian Air Force, he was posted in Forward Air Base at Patankot on MIG-21 BIS aircraft. Later, for 11 years, he was selected as an ARM, that engineer of VVIP Boeing 737 executive jet, where he was part of the crew that ferried the President of India, the Vice President of India, the Prime Minister of India, and various foreign heads of states. From 2003 to 2005, he worked at Delhi Secretariat Vigilance. From 2005 to 2008, he worked at Food and Civil Supplies Vigilance. From 2008, Till date, he was by name appointed at Lieutenant Governor's office, looking after the vigilance matter, being brought for consideration at Lieutenant Governor Delhi. We now take the privilege to welcome our chief guest with a sapling. We are indeed privileged to welcome our dear campus administrator, Father Sunny Joseph. We welcome you, Father. We extend a warm welcome to Reverend Father Principal and Father Manager, St. Joseph Academy, Reverend Brother Principal, Brother Manager, St. Francis ITI, Reverend Sister Prince Provincial, Sister Principal, St. Mary School, Reverend Sister Superior, Sister Principal, Fatima School, Reverend Sister Administrator and Sister Superior, St. Joseph Hospital, Reverend Sister Provincial, Sister Suvi Superior, Jeev Jeevandhara, and all other Reverend Sisters and Fathers who have graced this occasion. We also extend a very cordial welcome to our coordinator of examination, Dr. Sarir Sebastian, heads of all schools, academic coordinators, members of the faculty, and non-teaching staff. The most valued stakeholder of Christ deemed to be university are the parents. Dear parents, we sincerely acknowledge the trust you have placed in us to nurture and guide your children. The achievement of your children and the growth of the university on a national and global platform would not have been possible without your immense and constant support. We extend our hearty welcome to you on this proud day of achievement of your children. A very warm welcome to all of you, dear Christites. Today is the day to reflect on how you spent your time with us. Today is the day to acknowledge and to celebrate your unwavering commitment in reaching today's milestone. We cherish each one of you 
and welcome you all to this august moment of celebration thank you all i take immense pleasure in inviting the director and dean christ deemed to be university delhi ncr campus dr father josie p george to address us on this solemn occasion greetings to honorable vice chancellor dr father josie cc chief guest of the day sri madhusudran narayana father biju pd the pro vice chancellor father sunny joseph administrator dr johnny joseph the control of examinations all the heads of departments and coordinators faculty members parents all the invited guests and my dear christites i wish to begin by congratulating all the christites for this great achievements a milestone to remember for life the pride you feel is the testimony of all the hard work perseverance and efforts you put in throughout the years as you walk this aisle of the accomplishment we are content in knowing we were a part of your journey and we to our proud on this moment occasion let me pass down a few sets of sets of lessons from this campus i am confident that the delhi ncr campus provided provided you with a platform to experience and learn from the people of different cultures who bring in their diverse knowledge and ideas i am sure you have made life from life long friendship with the people you call your own tribe and from the from the diverse culture backgrounds than your own you would never be short of instances that will stimulate your passion further and expand your knowledge to embrace the ideas of various dynamics along with the academics you are prepared for this outset in life by various responsibilities assigned to you through the numerous academics and extra curricular programs such as different types of first credit courses and internship and so on most of you can boast of the tremendous responsibilities you have shouldered while executing them quite uh, skillfully i am sure the learning you have received here outside of the classroom too would have shaped you into the responsible and accountable young adult you are now now as you graduate and put to use the knowledge you learned from your field remember my dear christies the key to greater achievements is acknowledging that learning never stops i am i am sure that while reflecting back on your journey you will see that the wider range of people you encountered here and the ever growing circumstances were all the opportunities to unlock the greater knowledge and potential we are so proud of each one of you in every step of your way in the great future ahead of you there is no doubt that this hall filled with the growing buds of successful entrepreneurs professors lawyers and much diverse set of professionals as you explore your field of interest follow the true voice of your passion you are not a ship that chance upon the christ delhi ncr campus it was your determination that your ship reach here let the same passion and determination guide you to unlock your potential now as you continue your journey do not be disheartened by the time you might take to choose your destination because this preparation is no less significant for your journey on a final note when you sit in this great auditorium i want each one of you to remember what you are now is a collective result of your parents friends teachers and years of experience in this world stay grounded in your values and evolve to become a better person in the race of individual growth 
Do not lose footing with your roots. Remember to look back and retain your wisdom and prosperity to the society. Always remember the vision of your alma mater, excellence and service. Be the kind of citizen you want the country to have. And today, as we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion, let us extend our heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Father Viju Pedi, whose unwavering commitment and tireless efforts have paved the way for the exceptional education and academic experience we have received. It is through his dedication that our dreams have become a reality. With immense pride and admiration, let's all give a big round of applause to Father Viju Pedi. and convey our best wishes as he takes a new responsibilities as the Pro Vice Chancellor of Christ University. I take a moment to appreciate the faculty and admin staffs for their consistent effort to bring out the best in the students and in making this day a reality. Once again, a big applause for all their efforts and dedication. Dear Christites, I am happy to have had you all as the part of the Christ family. Continue to make us proud with your future endeavors. I also invite you to return to campus and share your wisdom, experiences, and inspiration with the next generation. Your presence will serve as a beacon of motivation, guiding and nurturing your juniors on their academic journeys. Embrace your role as proud ambassadors of the university as it will forever remain your home. Once again, congratulations and thank you so much. I take immense pleasure in inviting the Honorable Dr. Father Joseph Sisi, the Vice Chancellor, to declare the convocation ceremony open. This convocation ceremony of Christ deemed to be university has been called to award the degrees to candidates who, in the examinations held for the purpose, have been certified to be worthy of the same. I declare the convocation ceremony open. Let the candidates for the award of degrees under the School of Business and Management, School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy, and School of Law be presented. I now call upon the Controller of Examinations, Christ deemed to be University, Dr. Johnny Joseph, to present the candidates from the School of Business and Management, School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy, and School of Law for the award of degree by the Honorable Vice Chancellor. I request the candidates for the award of degrees to please stand up. I request all the candidates to please stand up. Father Vice Chancellor, I wish to present to you the candidates named in the list for the award of degrees in Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration Honors, Bachelor of Business Administration FinTech Honors, Bachelor of Business Administration in Finance and Accountancy, Bachelor of Commerce Honors, Bachelor of Commerce Professional, Master of Science in Finance and Analytics, Master of Business Administration, Master of Law in Constitutional and Administrative Law, and Master of Law, Corporate and Commercial Law. They have been examined and found qualified for the said degrees which I pray be awarded. All the candidates may please be seated. 
I invite the faculty members to call out the names of the candidates to receive their degree certificates. I request the candidates for the award of degrees to come in the order in which their names are called. Students of Master of Laws in Constitutional and Administrative Law, I am pleased to announce that Ms. Padmini is the rank holder of Master of Laws in Constitutional Administrative Law with the CGPA of 3.57. Students from Bachelor of Business Administration Honours, I am pleased to invite on stage the rank holder of Bachelor of Business Administration Honours, Khushi Sharma, with a CGPA of 3.8. Angel Yadav. Anirudh Singh Shekhawat. Shivani Yadav. Ankit Roy. Students of Master of Laws in Corporate and Commercial Law, I am pleased to announce that Ms. Akriti Gupta is the rank holder of Master of Laws in Corporate and Commercial Law and with the CGPA of 3.67. She is also the best outgoing student of Master of Laws in Corporate and Commercial Law. Arpit Raju. Prachi Goel. Arushi Garg Satyat Singh Ayam Sharma Vidhi Tomar Derek Xavier Students from Bachelor of Commerce Honours I am pleased to invite on the stage the rank holder of Bachelor of Commerce Honours Jayesh Nagpal with a CGPA of 3.84 Devraj Pandit Abhinna Mahajan Harsh Kant Adarsh Manoj Harsh Verma Agnal Gino Harshit Thapar Akshat Kumar Jaya Ranka Alan Anand Thomas Justin Biju Alan Matthew Karan Kapoor Amal George Pragati Ananya Singh Pratham Saxena Anuranand Das Prince Rathor Ayush Mishra Puna Vikesh Ayush Rajesh Bajipale Rishabh Agarwal Ayush Trahan Ribbon P. Kumar Ayushi Tiwari Sakshi Singh Chaitanya Gandhi Sarthak Mathur Dilip Rawat Simran Madani Gorang Singh Soumya Rastogi Jos Vargas Suhani Anand Manisha Muller Sopme Sur Pragati Buddhi Raja Tridi Basu Sanjeev Raj S Vedan Singh Dharamwal Shriyansh Kateria 
यश सक्सेना शुभम कुमार छाचन युवराज कपूर शुभम कुमार द्विवेदी अरित्र बिस्वास सोलंकी ध्रुवराज राजू अदिति गुप्ता सुदक्षिणा दास पद्माती तरुण रेड्डी सुदर्शन आर शिवम गुप्ता वैष्णवी विनय राघव अग्रवाल विपुल शर्मा निमिश यश अग्रवाल सार्थक मोहानिया कार्तिक सैनी आदित्य नीरज गट्टानी एलन पॉल आदेश सिंह मनीष भारद्वाज आदित्य अत्री प्रणीत कुमार आदित्य चैटर्जी संत सिंह अक्षत वर्मा रेवा सक्सेना अक्षिता गहलावत कीर्ति सिंह एलन शिबू हर्ष बंसल अनन्या सक्सेना अपूर्वा अग्निहोत्री अनिका शर्मा साक्षी शर्मा अर्णव चांदना ऋतिक राज आर्यमन नंदा students from bachelor of commerce professional i am pleased to invite on the stage the rank holder of bachelor of commerce professional hardika gupta with the cgpa of 3.82 aryaman saxena anirban pathak aryan deep singh chawla anushka shivastava चैतन्या धवन अर्जुन देव बख्शी दर्शमान सिंह कालरा भव्य तनेजा जैकी रेड्डी लोकेश रेड्डी काव्या रमानी कबीर सिंगला मानसी जैन कार्तिक मुंड्रू मेहुल मल्होत्रा कोविद मृगांक सिंह कुशाग्र श्रीवास्तव सायक मंडल एम जैद बिन हैरिस शफाली टेलर निया एन मैथ्यू श्रेयांश रक्षक पार्था प्रथम प्रधान सईद अब्बास खुर्शीद साकेत बनौत मिथुन राम टीवी सनेही नायक स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम बैचलर ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंटेंसी आई प्लीज टू इनवाइट ऑन द स्टेज द रैंक होल्डर ऑफ बैचलर ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंटेंसी श्रुति चौधरी with a cgpa of 3.86 she is also the best outgoing student from the school of commerce finance and accountancy sanita sanu aastha sharma sneha tiwari aditya saraswat swagat pujari अक्षय कपूर तिजू टॉमसी मंदीप कुमार 
Adrika Das. Ankit Kumar. Pankaj. Aryan Vali. Kanaya Garg. Ashil Shaji. Pratik Mittal. Ayush Kishan. Gauri Anil Tabrival. Vijay Das. Lakshay Garg. Chaha Chaudhary. Shubham Sharma. Geetika Kujur. Akul Vadva. Jairin Sunny. Mukund Mangmani. Kunal Saini. Khushi Sharma. M. Arvind. Students from Bachelor of Business Administration, Fintech Honors. I am pleased to invite on stage the rank holder of Bachelor of Business Administration, Fintech Honors, Pia Basu, with a CGPA of 3.85. Muskan Tiagi. Aditya Ram. Neha Agrawal. Akansha. R.P. Vishaka Vaishnav. Alan T. Saju. Radhika Agrawal. Animesh Aditya, Salimeda Ash Ashwarya Lakshmi, Anushka Singh Bhardwaj, Samriddhi Raj, Chinmay Agarwal, Saroj Paul, Chirag Jain, Satyam Kumar, Diya Parge, Sayantan Basu, Ekansh Shubhojit De Janet Shweta Pradeep Karunabdesh Vaibha Agarwal Khushbu Mittal Utkarsh Jain Lakshay Dabbas, Harsh Gar, Madhav Agarwal, Charu Jain, Mahika Pandey, Ujwal Kumar, Mayank Jha, Students from Master of Science, Finance and Analytics, I am pleased to invite on the stage the rank holder of Master of Science, Finance and Analytics, Pranav Gupta, with a CGPA of 3.87. He is also the best outgoing student from School of, Fina of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy. Mehak Jain. Abhishek Malan. Nikunj Dhruv Jain Nitish Students from Bachelor of Business Administration I am pleased to invite on stage the rank holder of the Bachelors of Business Administration Avishya Lyan with a CGPA of 3.8 Palak Bhaseen Arush Rastogi Pranjal Singh Abhigya Jain Raghav Aroda Akars Jain 
रिदिमा सिद्वानी अनुभव श्रीवास्तव ऋषि हांडा अरुणव डैनियल सक्षम गोयल आर्यमन कुमार शगुन ठाकुर आयुष सिंह शिव खंडेलवाल चेतन सोइन श्री वर्मा दीपेश गुप्ता तुषार बंसल गर्वित जैन उमंग शर्मा जब सृजन कौर वैभव सिंह के आर प्रियंका विक्रम अग्रवाल कामिल जदा यश खंडेलवाल कृति जैन युवराज आहूजा मयंक त्रिपाठी सानिया सक्सेना नटालिया दिलवाल शिवांश निखिल नंदवानी students from master of business administration i am pleased to invite the rank holder from finance specialization of master of business administration piyush sharma with cgpa of 3.71 <clears throat> prashant goel argha majumdar priyanshi saxena चेतन शर्मा रणवीर यादव दृष्टि जोसेफ रिदिम कुंभार जूलिया कुजूर ऋतिक राज लीना कुजूर रुद्राक्ष रॉय सैगल मेरिन वर्गीस एस श्रेयांश जैन प्राची सोनी शिवांश खन्ना राजश्री शर्मा सिद्धार्थ शर्मा सानिया सैनी सिद्धार्थ तुलसियान सानिका सुरेश सुधीर दीक्षित सौम्या वालिया उत्कर्ष कुमार सौरभ मेहरा वी एस वेंकटा कार्तिकेयन शबिन सिबी वृंदा तोमर सुजीत के अभिज्ञान पांडे नंदिता कांत इशिता सेठ शी इज ऑल्सो द बेस्ट आउट गोइंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ द यू जी बैच ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस एंड मैनेजमेंट शिवानी वर्मा राजश्री तिवारी सिमरजीत सिंह दिव्या बत्रा I am now pleased to invite the rank holder from the area of human resource management of Master of Business Administration Shreya Jain with CGPA of 3.78 Akarshak Sharma Abhishek Rastogi Anirudh Allen Akash Panikar Anushka Biswas दिया अजीत अरिजीत सिंह चंपावत 
Elizabeth Thomas. Astha Gupta. Kushi Ketan. Ayushi Sharma. Mano Jacob F.T. Daksh Chaudhary. Umesh Chaudhary. Dhruv Garg. Yukti Batra. Dhruv Gupta. Amal Joseph. Dhruv Malhotra. I am now pleased to invite the rank holder from Marketing Specialization Area of Master of Business Administration, Shetty Rikita Rajesh, with CGPA of 3.78. Divyansh Harbola. Andrea B. Benny. Ikas Singh Karbanda. Anurag Sharma. Himanshu Sohalka. Chris Mathai. Indranil Chaudhary, Dolly Solanki, Ishika Amit Sangtani, Jan Emmanuel Wilson, Jason Skarya Chako, Lakshmi V, Manas Gupta, Monish Johnson, Melgin Paul Regis K.R. Reema Ningombam, Mukund Maheshwari, Sakshi Dheeman, and she is also the best outgoing student of Master of Business Administration. Ram Muthaya L, Sejal Kapoor, Nabil, Sushmita Chakravarti. Taha Nand Habib Kaul, Nandita Madan, Vaisha Khar, Sahil Gupta, Vineet Vini, Sakshi Singh, Melvin Punus, Sarthak Sharma, Parth Chadha, Sashank Tripathi, Ganesh Arvind V, Shubham Khatri, Rashmeet Singh, Siddharth Thal. We have two more students of Bachelor of Business Administration Honours, Shivansh Singh, Uday Maheshwari, Shivansh Singh, Ujjal Kumari Gupta, it's not here. Aditya Pratap Singh, Vinayak Duggal, Vineet Goel, Yashashvi, Benjamin Alex Cardoz, Aditya Raj, Krishanu Chaudhary, Jeffrey Pothusaril, Sashank Yadav, Pranati Mathur, Maduram Chaparya, Sachit Agarwal.
I request all the candidates recommended for the award of degree to kindly stand up. I request all the students to kindly stand up. I request Father Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Josh C.C. to award the degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in the Chancellor and on behalf of the Chancellor, I hereby award you the degrees mentioned, having been examined, certified and approved by the University under the School of Business and Management, School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy, and School of Law at Christ University, Delhi NCR campus. Congratulations. I charge you that ever in your life, thoughts, actions, and conversations, you show yourselves worthy of the degrees awarded. Please remain standing. In your convocation ceremonial handbook, please turn to page 19 for the graduation pledge. Please turn to page 19 for the graduation pledge. I request the coordinator of examinations, Christ deemed to be University, Delhi NCR campus, Dr. Sarish Sebastian to administer the pledge. I request the graduates under School of Business and Management, School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy, and School of Law to keep your right palm close to your heart and repeat the pledge after me. As a graduate of Christ Deemed to be University, I promise to uphold the dignity, honor, and prestige of this university. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions, and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all. I will cherish the core values and graduate attributes inculcated in me in this temple of learning. And I will uphold them in the journey of my life. I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the advancement of learning, for the well-being of the community, and for the public good. I will strive to create a better society with a sense of fairness, social justice, and environmental responsibility. I will follow the path of righteousness with respect to ethical considerations, to prove myself a worthy citizen of my country. As I leave the portals of my alma mater, I promise to carry on the good tradition that I belong to in whatever I do, strengthened by the mission and guided by the vision of excellence and service. I take this pledge by reaffirming my faith in God Almighty, who will always be my guiding spirit. You may please be seated. Dear students, kindly maintain silence in the auditorium. Please be seated.
Hearty congratulations on your accomplishment. You, you are you are now graduates. I request the chief guest of the day, Sri Madhusudan Narayana, Superintendent Vigilance at Lieutenant Governor's Secretariat to deliver the convocation address. I request you all to kindly maintain silence in the auditorium. Good afternoon. Respected Father Joe C.C., Vice Chancellor, Christ Deemed to be University, Dr. Father Viju P.D., Pro Vice Chancellor, Respected Campus Director, Dr. Father Josie George, Distinguished members on the dais, faculty members, our newly graduated students, and my dear parents, I feel honored standing before you all giving this address. I thank this university for gifting such brilliant minds for the building of our great nation. We are in a cusp of history where we aspire to be world leaders. So we are heartily welcome these young brilliant minds to this joint endeavor of our countrymen to build our country. Actually, I should also congratulate the parents of these students to have chosen such a good <laughs> alma mater for them. They were in very safe hands who have mentored them to this day when they graduate. Dear friends, actually I would uh, refer to all young students as friends as I believe that Henceforth, you will be friends to all countrymen. And uh, till today, you are competing among your peer group. But there is a paradigm shift from here onwards. You will be working as a team for your organization goals. You are all professionals now. You have been trained to be in their chosen professional career. So here onwards, it is the team that will be guiding you. Let us believe the success we look either in an organization or in our country it never comes without a team effort. So we should endeavor that our team members are in tune with the entire organization goal that we aspire to achieve. And today we have given you a level of understanding on the chosen professional career you chose. But make no mistake, the world evolves by the day, by the night. So it is imperative that all of us have the aspiration to upgrade and update ourselves into the latest knowledge. Always be ready for taking over any challenges that is thrown upon you. It can be a surprise. The deemed university's motive that is excellence and service. I hope this vision of this university is always in your periphery that wherever you go, you excel yourself and your service is always above self. I congratulate once for, for your achievements today and also 
wish you all a bright future god bless you all now we have our honorable vice chancellor dr father jose cc with his presidential address on this solemn occasion the chief guest of the day dr sri madhusudan narayana pro vice chancellor father viju p devasi controller of examinations dr joni joseph coordinator of the examinations of delhi ncr campus dr sari sebastian director and dean of delhi ncr campus father josi campus administrator father sunny reverend fathers reverend sisters heads of departments graduates academic and administrative staff parents and invited guests very good evening to all of you as we witness the gathering of the graduates this evening 389 of the christites those who have spent 3 2 or more years of their stay in campus and are proudly graduating today ladies and gentlemen let us put our hands together to congratulate all the graduates of this convocation congratulations also to the parents for bringing up each christite and having faith in christ university let's give a big round of applause to our parents let me also congratulate the leadership of uh, Christ uh, University Delhi NCR campus the faculty and staff for your dedication sincerity and leadership in molding these graduates give a big round of applause appreciating all your faculty and staff members while we commemorate a significant milestone of one more convocation ceremony of passing out of students in 2023 let me reflect on the growth we witnessed here in 2014 we undertook a crucial step for our university by establishing campuses in delhi ncr and pune levasa this more bold move symbolizes a remarkable leap forward in the growth and development of our university The choice of Delhi NCR as our campus location was strategic and deliberate. Renowned for its proximity to the national capital, this region offers unparalleled access to many invaluable source resources and centers of learning. Establishing our campus in Delhi NCR also provides our students with excellent opportunities. in terms of internships and placements i wish to mention the transformative impact our serene and beautiful campus in gaziabad has ga- has had on the surrounding region the establishment of our campus in delhi ncr has assured in a new era of growth progress and academic excellence for our university we are privileged to be part of this region enriched by its invaluable resources and opportunities together let us continue to strive for greatness leveraging our intellectual capital and dedication to shape a brighter future for our institution and the society we serve i am also delighted as we are delighted with the graduates passing out to share some of the achievements of christ deemed to be university our university excelled in the national institutional ranking framework nirf securing an impressive overall position of 67 from among 4000 colleges and universities in india 
in the world university ranking for innovation under the industrial revolution category we have achieved a remarkable rank of 39 for our contributions in digital skill education for underprivileged children for a program known as we jump in the recent india today rankings of the colleges and programs in india our bca program was placed first in india along with the school of business and management securing a place among the top 3 bba programs in india we are also one among the top 10 in india in social work school of commerce finance and accountancy arts and humanities social sciences and media studies our distinguished alumnus an eminent meteor astronomer who is working in paris observatory mr ashwin shekhar has garnered such a recognition that a minor planet has been named in his honor <laughs> mr sibulu pradeep our esteemed alumni has achieved an impressive rank in the recently announced civil service examination results in the ai pca sema examination out of the 100, 157 students appeared 96 ranks were taken over by our students of dps including delhi ncr campus the ca intermediate may 23 2023 results showcased our outstanding performance by the toppers if our university in general and the students can achieve why not faculty and research scholars the faculties and research scholars of our university have published an impressive number of 4712 articles and papers in the best scopus index journals world over please note we have experienced a noteworthy growth rate of 60% each year over the past 4 years underscoring our dedication to research let's give a big round of applause appreciating everyone for this success as most of you read recently india has surpassed china in human population with 50% that's 254 million of the population below the 25 years of age The UN Population Fund report in April 2023 said in its world population report and I quote India is at a unique historic opportunity witnessing a great demographic transition as a youthful nation The UN report continued to announce for India the youth is a source of innovation new thinking and lasting solutions once more youth is a source of innovation new thinking and lasting solutions my dear christites this convocation is more meaningful with this message as you pass out christ university is proud that through its classrooms and campus engagements we nurtured Christ tides as a source of innovation new thinking and lasting solutions for our great nation Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara our founder and inspiration said and I quote good students are the source and strength of any nation the youth are the powerhouse of a country filled with zeal courage and enthusiasm India has always witnessed growth and development with the support of young achievers. The presence of youth in our country has allowed us to witness several creative products and services from manhole cleaning robots to farm surveying drones to apps and and devices to solve our day-to-day -day problems. The youth are bringing smiles to many lives. Dear Christites you are at the prime time of your lives invest your thoughts in bringing 
developmental changes to our country, creating a better tomorrow and a happy future for our nation. May you bring innovative methods and lasting solutions to the challenges we face as a country. Dear students of law, you embody the guardians of justice and protectors of social order. Through your profound understanding of legal principles and your unwavering commitment to uphold the rule of law, you have the ability to lead us towards a more just and harmonious world. Dear students of commerce, you possess the power of innovation and strategic thinking to tackle societal challenges, propelling our nation towards exceptional development through your endeavours in commerce and business. Dear students of business management, you have the opportunity to make a significant impact on society by building inclusive organisations, driving social responsibility and contributing to economic development. Today, as you are prepared to embark on a new phase of your life, I implore you to remember our vision, excellence and service. Let this vision resonate within you and also in shaping the choices you make. As you step into a world that constantly needs compassion, understanding and positive change, remember to imprint our vision and carry the spirit of service wherever you go. On this very special occasion, I would like to extend my gratitude and congratulations to Reverend Father Viju P. Devasi, who made, the who made the foundation for the establishment of this campus as a wonderful place of learning. Let me also congratulate Reverend Father Sunny, Reverend Father Josie, other fathers, academic coordinators, heads of departments, faculty members, and staff members who are always ready to support and nurture the academic growth of all the students. As I conclude, I urge each and every graduate present here to inspire, motivate, support, innovate, and make our great nation proud. Please remember, service is our motto and excellence is our God. God bless. Thank you. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Sayyid Abbas Khurshid and Ms. Sakshi Dheeman, who are representing the graduates, to recognize and acknowledge the contributions of those who helped them on this journey. Good afternoon, the honorable dignitaries on the dais, distinguished faculty members, proud parents, and my fellow graduates. Today, as we gather here to celebrate our convocation, I stand before you as a proud Christ child with a BCom professional degree. It is a momentous occasion. I'm honored to have been given this opportunity today, but it feels a really tough job to express the overwhelming emotions in me. So I thought I would just jot down what comes first to my heart with all honesty. As all my batchmates present here, my journey also started in this institution as a boy who had just completed his schooling, whose naive mind had a perception of a university driven by the movies he had watched. Well, as my fellow mates would again conquer, our university turned out to be quite different from our perceptions. In here, a rule meant a rule. And as my friends from the law faculty once taught me, there is no saving clause to it. I should confess, as a new freshman, I felt a bit disenchanted. Now, when I'm graduating from here and I look back, I understand why it was so important. The point being that this institution may not have given this boy what he liked, but what he needed, and my indebtedness for this is non repayable. Now that I have spoken about my indebtedness, I cannot dare in my conscience 
to not mention about my faculty, my professors. The collective efforts have been instrumental in my development, and I cannot emphasize enough on the significant impact they have had on my educational journey. Each faculty member has contributed their expertise, challenged me to grow, and provided invaluable mentorship. I am deeply grateful for their dedication and contributions to my personal and academic growth. To all our mentors and teachers, I, on behalf of School of Commerce, Finance and Accountancy, extend my heartfelt gratitude for their invaluable contribution to our growth. Reflecting about my journey at this institution, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the transformation it has brought in me. This institution has not only imparted academic knowledge, but has also nurtured and developed my interpersonal skills, helping me become the confident person I am today. One of the most remarkable facets of my college life was the discovery of my own potential. Coming from a backdrop where I was not particularly active in school, I found myself embracing every possible opportunity that came in my way in this university. It was here that I learned to step out of my comfort zone and take on new challenges. I vividly remember the day I was elected as a class representative. It was a true turning point for me. It was a test of my confidence and management skill, and had it not been for this opportunity, I may have never learned this art. This newfound confidence doubled when I won the finance event for college freshers called Prayan. These baby steps paved the way for my involvement as a junior associate and later as a senior associate in the Arthika, the finance club of Reconcile the Commerce Association. Later, my faculty deemed it fit to select me as a school student council representative. Little did I know that the destiny had kept the most cherished learning experience of all in my final year where I was tasked to lead my department in an intra-university competition blossom. This role actually taught me valuable lessons in teamwork, effective communication, and importance of collective effort. In addition to the chiseling out of David in my personality, this institution gave me my most valued achievement, one goal with which I entered this campus on day one. As I stand here today, I'm at the apex of becoming a chartered holder with Chartered Institute of Management Accounting, CIMA UK. In all honesty, none of this would have been possible without the unwavering support and guidance of my professors. Their commitment to my education and personal development has been truly commendable. It is all but your efforts that the boy who entered this gate now leaves as a man. To my dear friends who have been an integral part of my journey at this university, I'm immensely grateful for the unforgettable moments we have shared. From the classrooms to the cafeteria, the freshet area to the Sunrise Cafe, every moment spent together has been filled with laughter, support, and cherished memories. The late night study sessions before exams and the joyful trips we embarked upon have created bonds that will last a lifetime. Today, as we stand here graduating together, I realize that all those experiences were truly worth it. As we stand here today, ready to embark on new journeys, armed with all necessary, the knowledge and the skills, let us not forget the essence of this moment. We have been given a remarkable foundation upon which to build our futures. But it is our responsibility to carry forward the values and principles instilled in us during our time here. Finally, I would like to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to my parents, Justice Sayyad Kamar Hassan Rizvi and Mrs. Geti Rizvi, who are here with me today, as they have always been. Their unwavering support and sacrifices have been and will always be instrumental in my journey. I often question whether I have done enough to make you proud. I just want you to know that I have given my best effort and will continue to do so in the future. With this, I wish to say my departing words, march on Christites, march on. Thank you. A very warm good afternoon to everyone present here today. Today, as I stand before you with overwhelming gratitude, I am humbled to accept this tremendous honor. This recognition is not merely an accolade for me. It represents the culmination of an extraordinary journey filled with both triumphs and tribulations. Firstly, I would like to thank the Almighty God, without whom I would not have been able to reach the heights I am today. I am deeply grateful to the faculty members who have surpassed the role of educators in our lives. 
you have been my mentors, my guides, and my endless source of inspiration. Your unwavering belief in my abilities, even during moments of self-doubt, has propelled me forward. You've encouraged me to soar higher, to aim for the stars, and to unearth the vast potential residing in me. I extend my heartfelt thanks for igniting the flame of knowledge within me and instilling in me an unsatiable thirst for continuous learning. My dear friends and classmates, you hold a special place in my heart as the very essence of my college experience. Our dreams, our aspirations, and moments of vulnerability have formed an unbreakable bond between us, strengthening us in ways words cannot express. I'm filled with immeasurable gratitude for the privilege of journeying through college by your side. To my beloved parents, you are my rock, my guiding light, and my source of strength. Your sacrifices, your love, and belief in me have been the driving force behind my achievements. Thank you for instilling in me the values of perseverance, compassion, and integrity, which have guided my path and shaped my character, and I hope I made you proud. As I accept this honor, I'm aware that it is not solely mine to celebrate. It belongs to every person who has touched my life, believed in me, and contributed to my growth. Standing here, I'm reminded of what Oprah Winfrey once said. You must have some kind of vision in your life. Even if you don't know the plan, you have to have direction in which you choose to go. To those who may doubt their own potential, embrace the uncertainty, trust your instincts, and set a direction that resonates with your passion and values. Believe in yourself, for you possess an extraordinary capacity to achieve success. In closing, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who has been a part of my incredible journey. This award is not simply a recognition of my achievements. It reflects the collective efforts, love, and support bestowed upon me. I humbly accept this honor and promise to carry its weight with grace, humility, and the unwavering commitment to make a positive impact on the world. Thank you all once again for your belief in me. I am truly grateful. Thank you. Christ Music Society will now render the farewell song. Rising up, back on the street Did my time, took my chances When the distance, now I'm back on my feet Just a man and his will to survive So many times, so many it times happens so fast, happens so fast. You change your passion you for glory Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past must fight just to keep them alive It's the eye of the tiger It's the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of our rival And the last known survival stops his prey in the night And he's watching us all in the eye
Permission of the Vice Chancellor, I declare the convocation ceremony closed. I invite, I invite Dr. Meera Matthew, Academic Coordinator, School of Law, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening and hearty congratulations to the graduating Christites. At the outset, let's acknowledge the divine blessings and the grace bestowed upon all of us. First and foremost, I wish to express my sincere gratitude to our Honorable Chancellor, Reverend Father Vergis Videtil in absentia for his invaluable guidance and leadership. My earnest gratitude to our Honorable Vice-Chancellor Reverend Father Joe C.C., for his constant motivation and for being a strong pillar of support. Father, your vision and passion has always guided us to achieve great heights and attain the pinnacle of success as our students march towards perfection. Father, we remain grateful to you. I profusely thank our chief guest, Sri Madhusudhanan Narayana, Superintendent Vigilance at Lieutenant Governor Secretariat for accepting our invitation. Sir, your convocation address was truly insightful and inspiring. I am certain that your talk has touched the hearts of our graduating students and has encouraged them to make meaningful contributions in their chosen areas of profession as they set foot out of the nurturing ground of Christ University and commence their professional journey. I now request our campus dean and director, Reverend Father Dr. Josie P. George, to present a memento to our chief guest as a mark of our respect and sincere gratitude. Thank you, Father. We are also grateful to our Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Vijupi Devasi, for his commitment to academic integrity and tireless efforts in promoting innovation and research at our university. His commitment to nurturing a culture of intellectual curiosity has enriched the learning experience for our students. We would like to express our gratitude to the Registrar Dr. Anil Joseph Pindo in absentia for his efficient administration and diligent efforts in ensuring the smooth functioning of the university. Let me also thank Professor Dr. Johnny Joseph, the controller of examination for his constant supervision and guidance for the smooth conduct of today's convocation ceremony. Our heartfelt thanks to our Dean and Director, Reverend Father Dr. Josie P. George for his careful planning meticulous execution and unwavering perfection in organizing this wonderful event at our campus. 
A sincere thanks to campus administrator, Reverend Father Sunny Joseph, a leader of all seasons. We truly thank you, Father. We extend our gratitude to Reverend Father Principal, Father Manager, St. Joseph Academy, Reverend Brother Principal, Brother Manager, St. Francis ITI, Reverend Sister Provincial and Sister Principal, St. Mary School, Reverend Sister Superior, Sister Principal, Fatima School, Reverend Sister Administrator, Sister Superior at St. Joseph's Hospital, Reverend Sister Provincial and Sister Superior Jeevanthara, and all the sisters and fathers who have graced this occasion. Together, we make Mariam Nagar an education hub. Let me also express my gratitude to the heads of the schools and academic coordinators of various departments of Christ Delhi NCR campus for their august presence, support, assistance, and patronage in organizing this ceremony. Let me take this opportunity to thank the esteemed faculty members, special invitees, guests, and well-wishers for all their support. My vote of thanks shall be incomplete without the mention of parents, family members, and guardians of graduating students. We thank you for your unending faith in the vision and mission of Christ University. We hope today you see in your word the spirit of a true Christite. Thank you for trusting us by leaving your words in our care. Your sacrifice, prayers, and efforts have enabled us to attain today's milestone. The administrative staff, support staff members behind the scene also deserve a special thanks. I sincerely thank Christ Music Society, SWO volunteers, NCC cadets, NCC officers, security personnel, IT team, auditorium team, CDL team, and the band team from St. Joseph's Academy for their involvement and hard work in the successful organization of this event. A special thanks to Office of Examination for planning and organizing this event efficiently. And finally, a big congratulations to all the graduating Christites. My dear students, a convocation ceremony is not an abrupt end to a long dream, but it's a beginning of longer dream. We hope wherever you go, you will be the true ambassadors of Christ University with your head held high, heart strong, and the Christed spirit surviving in you. Wish you good luck for the journey ahead. God bless you all. Thank you. Kindly rise for the national anthem. Jana Gana Mana Adhina Ayata Jaya Hai Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Singh Gujarat Maratha Kravira Ukkala Vanga Hindra Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Kindly remain standing as the dignitaries leave the auditorium. I repeat, kindly remain standing till the dignitaries leave the auditorium. All the candidates and invitees will remain standing till the dignitaries leave the auditorium led by Controller of Examinations Dr. Johnny Joseph with the national flag. Coordinator of Examinations, Dr. Sarish Sebastian with the University flag. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Joe C.C. Pro-Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Viju P. Devasi. Chief Guest, Sri Madhusudanan Narayana. Director and Dean, Dr. Father Joe C.P. George. Campus Administrator, Father Sunny Joseph. Heads of the schools and academic coordinators. Thank you. Have a good evening.